this data domain overview webinar brought to you by PyCube and EMC. My name is Wes Christensen. I am a technical account manager at PyCube and today we will briefly discuss the history of data domain, some of its capabilities, and how it benefits you. Here's an overview of the history of data domain. As you can see here, data domain systems have a history of leadership and innovation in the deduplication storage category starting with the first deduplicated NAS storage system back in 2003 and spanning all the way to 2013 when EMC introduced the first deduplication storage optimized for backup and archive data. Backup can be an inefficient process that involves repetitively moving mostly the same data again and again. Deduplication dramatically reduces the amount of redundancy in backup storage and is defined as the process of finding and eliminating duplication within sets of data. The deduplication process uses well-understood concepts such as cryptographic hashes and content address storage. Only unique segments are stored along with metadata needed to reconstitute the original data set. There are two points that are important to note here. First, the effect grows over time. The more redundant data that is stored, the greater the degree of deduplication effects between the amount stored by the backup software, the light blue area, and the amount of capacity used, which is the dark blue area on the bottom. Second, these numbers are based on a typical backup policy schedule of a full backup on a weekly basis. The amount of data reduction varies primarily on the basis of that policy and how long that data is kept. So the retention policy will guide the degree of deduplication more than any other factor. One thing is clear, the impact is significant. Now I'll introduce you to the data domain storage system and move from the outside in. This is a picture of what you would see in a data domain deployment. A data domain appliance is a storage system with shelves of disks and a controller. It's optimized first to backup and second to archive applications and supports most of the industry leading backup and archiving applications. I'll talk primarily about backup in this discussion and then get to archiving later in the presentation. The list on the left is composed primarily of leading backup applications. Not only EMC's offerings with EMC Networker, but also Symantec, Commvault, and so on. On the way into the storage system, data can pass through either Ethernet or fiber channel. With Ethernet, it can use mass protocols and NFS or SIFs. It can also use optimized protocols or products such as Data Domain Boost, a custom integration with leading backup applications. Fiber channel connectivity enables a data domain system to act as a virtual tape library or you can use DD Boost over a fiber channel and eliminate virtual tape management. After the data is stored and it's deduplicated during the storage process, it can replicate for disaster recovery, only to compress deduplicated unique data segments that have been filtered out through the right process on the target tier are going to be replicated. Data Domain Boost is a software option supported across the entire data domain family that distributes parts of the deduplication process out of the data domain system and onto the backup server or application client. This speeds backups up by up to 50% and enables more efficient resource utilization, including reducing the impact on the server by 20 to 40% and reducing the impact on the network by 80 to 99%. In addition, DD Boost enables the application to control the data domain replication process with full catalog awareness of both the local and remote copies of the backup. DD Boost is supported with the majority of backup software market as well as with industry leading database utilities. All right, let's examine how data domain systems are the ideal protection storage platform for backup and archive data. On the top here, you can see a variety of data sources including databases, email servers, virtual machines, and more. One of the main strengths of data domain systems is that all of these data sources and broad range of backup and archive use cases can be protected on a single system. For both backup and archive use cases, one of the key differentiators data domain systems offer is the ability to encrypt data in line, meaning data is deduplicated then encrypted in real time as it is written to disk. Furthermore, on the archive side, data domain systems can meet a variety of U.S. international compliance regulations for archive data, including SEC 17A-4F. Finally, all data sent to a data domain system can be efficiently replicated to a secondary site for disaster recovery and long-term retention. 
this secondary site can be on-premise at your own DR site or it could be in the cloud at a service provider's facility. Why data domain? To summarize, it starts from economics. There's less disk to resource and less to manage. The CPU-centric deduplication approach of SIS cell scaling architecture allows the system to be simpler to manage as well as easier to provision in green. In addition, we found that data domain is more mature and flexible than most of its competitors. Data domain has been sold longer, and all the problems that most of its competitors are just starting to discover have been fixed already. We found that it works as advertised, and that alone is highly differentiated in this particular category. Finally, because of their resilience and replication flexibility, data domain systems not only work as advertised, but work reliably. And it's for those reasons that PyCube would recommend data domain. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. For more information on data domain or to request an introductory meeting with one of our consultants, please contact us using the information shown here. Thank you.